Q99.7, there is a new trend, a new viral trend going around where people are having ChatGPT roast their Instagram feeds. It has taken the radio community by storm. I've seen many a radio friend do this, and I'm like, the birth show must subject itself to ridicule as well. <laughs> so this would be like ChatGPT is playing like um, almost like a, not a supervisor, but an advisor saying like, hey, if we were working on your Instagram, this is what yours is saying about you. Well, Rebecca, our social media producer is here. What did you input into ChatGPT to get it to roast our Instagram profiles? So the trend is very simple. All you do is take screenshots of someone's Instagram feed you submit them to ChatGPT, and you say, roast my Instagram feed in one paragraph. And um, this is not my fault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> is it that harsh? Uh, it's it's pretty brutal. Actually, uh, I saw this trend yesterday morning, and I tried it myself, and mm. I was like, okay, I thought this might be a good idea, but uh, I'm not going to send this to anyone until Kristen wow. asked me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do y'all have against self-esteem? I had also done the same thing. Yeah, I, I saw it, was going to submit it, did my own, and I was like, maybe not. <laughs> so you're specifically asking for it to be critical yes. to roast you. It's okay. going to... Chat GPT is about to roast us right. for what our Instagram profiles look like. Okay, that's very different than just asking it for like um, a grade. No. You're saying like specifically pick this thing apart. Attack me, please. Okay. All <laughs> that right. is what we've done. So who should we start with? I think let's start with Bert. Okay. So what does Chat GPT have to say about your Instagram profile? And we're all seeing these, reading these for the first time because Rebecca was tasked with this. Uh, Your Instagram is like a midlife crisis. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yo! I love it. Your Instagram is like a midlife crisis caught on camera. Except instead of sports sports cars, you've got a bulldog that looks like it's over your entire existence. So it's totally over me. Like, all right. Franny's got you right. wrapped around her little paw. <laughs> Half your feed looks like you're desperately trying to prove you still have a life between all those sand collections. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and Fantasy Fridays, which, let's be real, probably consists of binge-watching Netflix alone while your dog silently judges you. <laughs> Jeez, I'm scared. <laughs> hey, it's know. like a scrapbook of suburban dad struggles, <laughs> bad vacation flexes, forced family smiles, and a dog that's clearly plotting its escape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, these are even more beautiful wow. than I anticipated. That's so good. All right, if you want that good time, it's at Bert Show Bert at it's on Instagram. All right, who should go next? Yeah, I straight. think we should just go in a line, oh, Kristen. Too much. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> that was okay. good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. I am now deeply regretting giving you this assignment. <clears throat> According to Chat GPT, the roast of my Instagram feed goes as such Your Instagram feed looks like a carefully curated Hallmark card on steroids. <laughs> an endless an endless barrage of sunsets, beach shots and beach shots and picture perfect family moments that scream, "Look how flawless my life is." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that really is what social media is. It's like you're trying to win an award for the most stereotypical Pinterest ready existence. Mm. The only thing missing is a motivational quote slapped over those sunset pics. <laughs> Do you ever have a bad day or is that against your Instagram aesthetic and seriously how many times can you post the same shot of your kid on a beach (laughs) before we all collectively roll our eyes we get it your life is perfect now go humble wreck somewhere else (laughs) (laughs) these are fantastic man All right, Cass. All right. Your Instagram feed is like a never-ending scrapbook of forced smiles and cringy captions, desperately trying to mask the chaos of real life with a facade of, look how perfect my world is. All right. It's got the chaos thing, right? Yeah. Right? It, it's a mix of blurry selfies, awkward family moments, and an overuse of filters that do nothing but scream, I'm trying too hard. Oh, dang. Whoa. You've got enough quote-unquote fun facts. 
that's my new favorite thing to do. Oh. And quote unquote parent life highlights to make even the most patient follower roll their eyes. It's like you're trying to be relatable, but it all comes off as a cheesy attempt at staying relevant in a social media world that's moved way beyond whatever you're trying to pull off here. Yeah. <laughs> she actually can tea is an a-hole, man. <laughs> All right, again, these are, we're asking Chat GPT to roast our Instagrams. All right, I'm Mo Mitch on Instagram. Your Instagram feed looks like a desperate attempt to prove you're the coolest person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> but it's given more trying too hard vibes than anything else. With all these travel pics, it's clear you want everyone to think you're some kind of globe trotter. <laughs> but let's be real, you probably spent more time finding the perfect filter than actually enjoying those places. That might be true. And the constant reminders that you're a comedian and creator. We get it. You're grinding. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but maybe sprinkle in some humility next time. <laughs> Your feed screams, look at me. <laughs> but honestly, we're not that impressed. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh no, Abby's teetering already. Uh, this, this might be the thing. Mom, can you come get me? I'm scared. <laughs> okay, this is for at the Abby Murphy on Instagram. It says your Instagram feed is like a highlight reel of someone trying way too hard to convince the world they're living a life worth envying, but it's about as authentic as a reality TV script. It's all brunches, rooftop parties, and perfectly curated shots with people who look like they probably couldn't pick you out of a lineup. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, your entire aesthetic screams, look at me, I'm fun and spontaneous, but it's painfully obvious that every shot was meticulous planned and retaken a dozen times to get that perfect candid look. It's like watching someone who's terrified of being irrelevant desperately <sighs> cling to the illusion that they're the life of the party. My Spoiler God. alert, we're not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. These are harsh as hell. Alright, so at okay. Show Bert, yeah. at Chris Kling, yeah. at Cassandra Young, mm -hmm. at I'm Mo Mitch, at the Abby Murphy, Go have a field day. How do we? I'm. I. I don't feel great about myself right now. Not at all. I would like to stop playing. Not according to ChatGPT. The Bird Show.